Greetings to all the aspirants present out there. This is Chandigarh Civil Services. Aspirants, we have already started one series that is of the Himachal Front Affair, in which we have already covered your Jan to November 2022 Front Affairs. So continue that particular series. In this particular session, we will be having a discussion of your December 2022 Front Affairs. So let's see the first thing which was in the news that is. the indian army wins inter services paragliding championship so yes your indian services that is your indian army it has won the inter services paragliding championship which is being held at your great place that is speed bling as we know that this is the first time that your indian army has organized the paragliding championship at a place that is your speed bling and talking about your speed bling we all know that this is the top 10 paragliding sites of the country so this is very very important and yes when we talk about this particular championship then the first sovereign valia that is your inter services paragliding championship this has been named after your zorin babia and yes this is an ace army paragliding pilot who has sacrificed his life during the validation paragliding flying training so this exercise has been named after this paragliding pilot and as we know that this particular paragliding championship has prepared a very very important role first that is it not only augment your operational preparedness but yes it will give a very wide publicity to to, to your sport and talking about your in the context of your himachal pradesh then definitely it will promote your adventure tourism so that means this particular paragliding championship plays a very very important role in augmenting your operational preparedness of the armed forces plus it give a very wide publicity to your this paragliding sport so that means this is very very important which is being organized at a place that is called as a beer play next thing which was in the news again factual detail that is your dr neelam kaur she bags the prestigious excellence in school education award very important your dr neelam kaur advisor healthcare and education so she was conferred with the prestigious excellence in school education award very important by your republic of mauritius fine why she uh, got this particular award so, so yes it she got this particular award for her contribution in the dedicated services kaun se field mein in the education mein aur women empowerment mein jo hai इनको ये पर्टिकुलर अवार्ड जो है उनको दिया गया है एंड येस शी वर्क इन द वेरियस स्टेट दैट इज योर हिमाचल प्रदेश पंजाब हरियाणा राजस्थान एंड यूपी सो शी वॉज कॉन्स्टेंटली वर्किंग सिंस लास्ट ट्वेंटी फाइव ईयर्स टू द फॉर्मल एजुकेशन ऑफ योर गर्ल्स स्पेशली हु आर फ्रॉम द इकोनॉमिकली चैलेंज फैमिलीज शो सो शी वॉज कन्फर्ड विद द एक्सलेंस इन द स्कूल एजुकेशन अवार्ड अगेन नेक्स्ट थिंग विच वॉज इन द न्यूज दैट इज योर Himachal Pradesh Agricultural University professor gets the best teacher award very important so yes who was conferred with this particular award that is your professor Janardan Singh who is the head of the department of organic agriculture and natural farming that is your CSK Himachal Pradesh Agriculture University so he was conferred with the best teacher award very important and yes this particular award has been conferred during your national conference on your natural farming for the sustainable agriculture and national prosperity and yes this was held at a sdau university which is located in your gujarat because when we talk about this uh, professor janardan singh so yes he has contributed very significantly in the field of your education and research which is conducted at the national and international level so because of which his contribution he was conferred with this particular award so this is very very important and next thing very important that is your sham negi india's first voter he died at the age of your 106 so talking about this what exactly happened as we all know your first voter of the independent india that is your sham sir sharan negi 106 of the age he died at the place that is your kalpa in kinnor and as we know that he has been a symbol of the democracy so talking about him the 
Prime Minister Narendra Modi, he, he has addressed a rally at Sundarbagar, uh, Solon, and he has paid tribute to the Navy. He said that his spirit towards the strengthening the democracy was admirable because he did not miss the opportunity to cast his vote. So that means his motive. He has motivated uh, everyone, especially the youth sector, in order to exercise their right to franchise. So this is very very important. And yes, when we talk about the Shah Sharan Navy, and we all know that he was the first voter of the independent India. And yes, who has casted his vote on twenty fifth October nineteen fifty one. And yes, as we all know that when we talk about him, then he was the first voter at a particular polling that is a shown to a polling station and. Talking about this polling station, this is located at a very trek, long distance. So, in spite of that, also he has always casted his vote. So that it has motivated a lot of youth in order to in order to exercise the right to franchise in order to cast their vote. So, Sham Sharanegi he died. Fine. So, this is about very important when we talk about your symbol of the democracy. Next thing, which was in the news again, very important related to your. G20. So, Prime Minister Modi to gift art, handicraft items from the Himachal Pradesh to the world leaders at the G20. So, yes, the Prime Minister Narendra Modi will gift several unique art and handicrafts items from the Himachal Pradesh and the upcoming G20 summit, which is held in the Bali, Indonesia. And yes. When we talk about when he gift these several unique art and cultural item, which is belonging to the Himachal Pradesh, then undoubtedly it will lead to the spread of the Himachal Pradesh art and culture globally. As we know that in this particular, the Prime Minister said that he will gift the item, जैसे कि आपका चंबा रुमाल, then Kangra miniature painting, then Kinnori shawl, then Kullu shawl and Kanal brass. So that means when he will present these uh, items to the various global leaders. So yes, your Himachal Pradesh, जो art and culture है, वो travel करेगा across the world, and that will give a huge popularity to your art and culture of the Himachal Pradesh also. And yes, when we talk about your G20 summit, then we know that it consists of 19 plus one countries. That is your Argentina, Australia, Brazil, Canada, China, France, Germany, India, Indonesia, Italy, Japan. North Korea, Mexico, Russia, Saudi Arabia, South Africa, Turkey, UK, US. Along with these nineteen countries, there is plus one that is your European Union. As we know that the G20 summit is taking place at your Bali, Indonesia. When we talk about your G20, then it has contributed about eighty-five percent of the global GDP and seventy-five percent of the global trade and about. Two third of the world population. So this is the static information related to your G20 and very very important also. Next, let's see what was in the news. That is the Lifetime Achievement Award for the renowned Himachal folk singer. That is your Dr. Krishna Lal Sagar. So that means he has been conferred with your uh, this particular Lifetime Achievement Award. So yes, the Himalayan Sahitya Sanskriti. And Pryavaran Munch, he has decided in order to honor your Dr. Kishan Lal Sagal with the Lifetime Achievement Award. Why this? He was conferred with this award because he has done a lot of contribution, especially in the field of your Himachali folk music. And yes, when we talk about him, then he has sung more than hundred of his own composition to the Akash Bani and Doordarshan platform. And yes, when we talk about then his recent The book title that is your Geet Meri Mati Re, which is containing a folk music, very important. Of which particular district, Sir Moore district, in Sir Lippi was published, which was published recently. And yes, when we talk about him, then yes, he is the top performer of the All India Radio Shimla, Doordarshan. And yes, talking about him, then he retired as a associate professor of the Gokul from the Himachal College, Kader in 2008. And yes, this is the first time. Very very important that this is the first time that the most famous folk artist has been conferred with this lifetime achievement award. Along with this, there are a lot of person who has already contributed. 
who has already conferred with this particular award that is your lifetime achievement award uh, has been given to your uh, like your uh, Sri Nivas Srikanth, Dr. Maluram Thakur, then Saroj Vishisht, Satyashen Sharma, Ramdyal Neeraj, Sundar Lohia, Ramesh Chandra Sharma and Om Prakash Handa. So this is the first time that the Pahari folk artist has been conferred with this particular award. So this is about your <laughs> December 2022 Grand Affairs. Uh, aspirants, we have already covered your Jan to December 2022 as your preliminary examination is approaching. So last around one year's uh, current affairs, especially related to your Himachal Pradesh, plays a very, very crucial role. Not only your preliminary examination, but your mains examination also, it has a very, very immense contribution. So this is all about today's session. So stay tuned and connected. Thank you.